Hello guys, welcome back to new tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do these um, these lines. You can see them, well, you can barely see them. They look pretty cool. You can you see them in the light. You got the horizontal ones, you got the vertical ones, and yeah, we've got the circle ones here as well. Just to show you guys, you can do any shape you want. Um, so yeah, you can see these in a lot of designs. Maybe not so common anymore, but they used to be used a lot, and they do look pretty cool on advertisements or anything like that. So yeah, you can see these lines here, and I'm going to show you how to make them. So basically all you're going to need to do is, you're going to make a new a new project, file new, make sure the background's content is transparent, and we're going to do the width to be 2, no we're going to do the width to be 1, and the height to be 2 for the first one, because we're going to make the vertical one. Okay, then you want to zoom right in, you can press Control and 0 to zoom straight to the, to the, to the artboard that you've got, and then you want to go to your shape tool, and go to the rectangle, and just do the top half and put it make it black so you, yeah so you just there's two pixels it's two pixels tall and you want to make the top pixel um, just a black square and yeah so now we've done that we're gonna use the selection tool you can press M on the keyboard or you can just select it okay now you've done that you want to go to edit and define pattern and you can call it whatever you want doesn't really matter just press OK and now we want to go back into here. We've got a light up. We've just we got just a regular brush, a white brush, and uh, let me put these all in a folder. Okay, and hide that. Okay. So now we just want to make a new a new layer, which is right here. You want to fill it with any color. It doesn't matter. It can be white. You want to turn the fill down to zero. And now you want to double click on it. You want to go to pattern overlay, and just select the one we just made. And there we go. We have these vert We have these uh, horizontal lines going across. And yeah, so that's how you make the horizontal one. Now let me show you how to make the vertical one. So all you need to do is go to File, New, and go to make the height 1, make the width 2. Okay, and just press Control 0 to zoom back in. And you want to go back to your shape tool and just make the second pixel uh, black. Then you want to use our selection tool again, just doing it repeating the same thing we did before. Go to Edit, Define Pattern, and press OK. And now we're going to go back into here, make, a, make our new layer, and make it any fill, doesn't really matter. We can, I just I can do it fast by just pressing Control and Backspace, and it will just select your, your background color. If you want to do your foreground color, just press Alt and Backspace. And uh, change the fill to zero, and then go to the Pattern Overlay, and then pick the one we just made. And there you go, you can see we have these vertical lines coming down. Uh, you can change the size of the lines, but um, I would recommend keeping them 100%. Um, so yeah, you can make them smaller, you can make them bigger. So yeah, I would recommend keeping them at 100. So let's just keep it to 100. Okay, so now I've done you, and now I've shown you how to make the vertical lines and the horizontal lines. I'm going to show you how to make any shape you want. But for instance, I'm just going to do circles. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a new a new project. So just make the width 20. Uh, 20 and the height 20 as well and then you can make it bigger doesn't really matter but I'm just doing it for 20 and um, you're gonna use the Eclipse tool it can be rectangle you can be you can use the pen tool it can be whatever shape you wanted to make your pattern okay and now you just want to click and drag you can hold alt um, to make it so it's it makes gets bigger on the spot if you don't hold alt it'll go like to the corner if you hold alt it just goes to the center and then hold shift to make it keep uh, the dimensions okay so now we've just made our, our circle you just want to put it in the middle and then again you'll use your selection tool just go over its define pattern and press ok okay and so we're just going to hide that make our new layer and fill it with anything change the fill to zero and then change the pattern to the circles and as you can see, it does kind of go over. Um, it doesn't it doesn't just show in the lights like the other line, like the other effects do. So what you want to do is you want to right click on the layer, go to rasterize, then change the blending option to overlay, and then decrease the opacity. And there you go. You can also use the eraser tool just to make sure that none of it is going outside of the light where you want it. It also looks pretty cool if you just like patch like an eraser tool, and you can see the kind of a fade in the circles there. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you found it helpful, leave a like. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.